on the Harris Bus and Coach stand we have a Heiger Azor. It's fully electric. Heiger Steve. My Vico Daily based X33 low floor. Another Heiger Steed. Full details on these vehicles will be found in the show review. Then we have our GI bus and coach refurbishments. We have an Ambelio London Enviro 400, which has been refurbished to a high standard. Fleet number 2447. On the Pelican Newton stand, we have a TCE 12, one of two on the inside halls. This one's for coat and coaches in the northeast. And we have a GT 12 for uh, Avacoach of Leyland. We have a TC9 MIDI coach for Mainline, followed by the E series, E10 for Newport Transport, recently featured in the magazine. We have an E12 Truce Cymru, that one's got high specification interior and mirrorless then we have swans travel of manchester tce12 manchester's first electric coach on the scania stand we have a fencer f1 which as it says on the side is a new generation so this one has a new chassis and a new engine diesel ten point eight meter vehicle has a higher body. It's got uh, 38 seated or 31 with two wheelchairs. Watch it, you can't see the interior very well because everyone's gone home from the scanning stand now. But there will be a full test drive of this vehicle in the coming weeks in the magazine and for our YouTube channel. Also on the Scania stand, we have a chassis by North Vault. So it's an electric chassis and Scania motor. Further information there on the North Vault side of things. So it's basically Scania and North Vault entered a joint agreement to develop and commercialise battery cell technology for heavy commercial vehicles in 2018. So this is the first vehicle to come out of that partnership by the look of it. Then we have a Scania K410C V6X2 on an Irizar I6S body, rear wheelchair lift fitted, two 
side protection sensors. Then on the Iris R stand itself, we have an I4. A new I6S efficient demonstrator and an I8. And then we have the centerpiece on the Iris R stand, the IE tram, which is destined for Go Ahead London. Display side. On the Isles bus stand we have an iCity Max for Weirdale travel, low floor vehicle, this one is based on an Iveco daily. Full PSVR specification. Then we have an Isles bus Harmony for Bradford's Executive Travel. That's based on Mercedes-Benz Sprinter 515 CDI. And we have an Isles Bus Ice City for MD Buses of Devon. Based on the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter. So this one is a 20-seater with six standing or 17 with one wheelchair and four standing. Vehicle is built to a high specification including curtains and diamond stitch seating. And then we have Tamar Coaches of Plymouth's first brand new vehicle. It's an Iveco daily based Isles Bus Glance. Great livery on this vehicle. Then we have another Iveco Daily for Haynes minibuses. This one's also a glance, but it's a PSVR version. Nice leather seating in this vehicle. Lift at the near side rear. Fridge unit. On the quick make stand, we have an Agrali chassis. This is the same one that is used in the dual E double decker, which is due to be going to London shortly for trials. And then we have a repowered new bus for London, LT11, which was unveiled on the first day of the show. So the batteries in this vehicle have been fitted underneath the stairs. Which you can't tell any difference on the interior. And the batteries are also located where the previous engine, Cummins engine was. Behind this panel. 
then you have a rear charging point underneath this flap the vehicle has been refurbished inside by Falcon Coachworks which is part of the Comfort Delgro group more on this vehicle a uh, future issue of CBW on the Thames stand we have the recently restyled HD 13 57 seat vehicle it's PSVR specification centre sunken toilet USB ports to each seat. Digital dash binnacle, very clear. ZF gearbox. next to it we have the smaller MD9 again to PSVR specification 39 seats no toilets No digital dash bin look on this vehicle. On the switch stand, we have a Metro City. This is to the new London spec. So it's got the new front end on it. near side centre emergency exit it's orange and black interior we then have switch solo SR fully electric so this one hasn't had updated styling yet thirty seater eleven standing seat belt as well
vehicle is bound for Flintshire County Council. And then we have the all new E1 in left hand drive. Nice design how the roof line goes down towards the rear. A Leyland Titan inspired rear window there possibly. The vehicle has three doors. I can't show you the inside on this one, unfortunately, because it's just been mocked out. You can have a look at the driver's area. Van Hall are showing a TDX 21 Altano, a Tyndale. This one's fully PSVR compliant. So I have a short Van Hall EX for woods of Tilly Country. So I have a full size EX for United Coaches, yes we are compliant as well. Plenty of headroom in this vehicle. Rear toilet. Small fridge and server unit. Interestingly, we also have tip-up seats here. So when you board a wheelchair, you can uh, move these seats back, save removing them. It's dashboard layout. On the base stand we have the fully PSVR compliant Scania Moby People Explorer 330.
with a 74 seat capacity or 70 plus one wheelchair. Three by two seating. Center entry and exit door. And next to that we have the new Moby People Premium. So this one is a difference in height to the original one that was done. So based on a Scania chassis. And the floor wheelchair lift fitted. So this one has been designed to be an executive coach in its first life. It's also PSVR compliant. But you can also have three by two seating when the vehicle is cascaded down the fleet in later years, making it more versatile addition to the fleet. It's got sunken toilet fitted. over destination gear in this vehicle. This one is bound for KB coaches. We then have the Bulis based on an MAN. This is the Aura model. Wheelchair lift fitted. PLS lift. So this is an MAN. 26470 Center sunken soil on this vehicle So this vehicle can actually have two wheelchairs, which brings the seated capacity down to 53, or with no wheelchairs, it's 61 seater. We also have a driver's door fitted. Finally, we've got a near plan tour liner from the Holmeswood fleet. This vehicle's had a PSVR conversion. And also three by two seating.
So that gives it a seating capacity of 66 with one wheelchair or a straight 70 seater. Mobitech destination equipment fitted in this vehicle. On the Jones Bus and Coach sales and noon stand, we have a new noon Taurus 900S, which is VDL. That vehicle has got a PLS lift, which has been relocated over the rear axle rather than being further back and impeding boot space. And that vehicle is full PSVR specification. We also have a Rossero Connect, slightly longer version than the 27 seater that's outside in the EV parking area. We have a Taurus 500S for Acklums and a Taurus 700S which is Iveco daily based for CCS coach hire. Got a nice two-tone leather interior on this vehicle. And the Acklands vehicle is a Mercedes-Benz Sprinter base. So this is to executive specification with tables at the rear. And on the freeway fleet system stand, uh, right bus Gemini from Go Ahead Island in training livery. And we've got the new Eversum e-shuttle electric bus the futuristic looking fully flat floor throughout. Just one step up at the back. Keel seating. High up driving position. Digital mirrors. Excellent all-round visibility. Cancel the seats. Minibus options have now converted the first batch of Ford e-transits and London Hire have taken some of these vehicles. And two vehicles on display in this area from minibus options.
this one being the diesel version. You also have GM Coachworks, Mercedes Benz Sprinter 515 CDI, PLS Access Eco Lift. vehicle is for Axe Valley and West Dorset Ring and Ride Service, so community transport. Then we have the TBC Conversions MANTGE. and 17 seat minibus options. This is a TG5 1.180. And you have the Trekker PTS for transit. Trekker, of course, part of Miller. Just <coughs> uh, having a quick look inside the TBC conversions MAM. So that's a 16 seater with a lift. Brand new Mercedes Benz Turismo bound for Johnson's Brothers. It's being shown on the Total Care stand. Total Care are showing off their latest products here. Smallest vehicle in the EV park is a Maxus E Deliver 9. This vehicle has been converted by GM Coachworks in Devon, who we recently did a feature with a few weeks back. have the Iveco daily based Rossero Connect which is 27 seats plus one. They also have one on display inside the halls.
final vehicle on display in the EV parking area is a ADL BYD Enviro 400 EV City. If you attended the ITT hub earlier this year, you'd have seen it exhibited there. Alcoa alloy wheels fitted. Alexander Dennis have announced they've increased their EV offering with a new Enviro 100 and Enviro 400 EV models using their own battery technology. However, the ADL BYD product will still be available for operators. see from the inside a high specification interior has been fitted to this demonstration vehicle. This includes Alphatronics charging points, tables, Also have seat back charging, reading lights and USB ports. Grass effect flooring. And a glazed staircase. <laughs> 